Howdy, it's John from the main. Out here in beautiful Arizona at 8123 Studios tracking our ninth studio album. Well, nine albums is a lot of albums. We've done kind of everything you can as a rock band. I think we're all maybe more motivated than we've ever been. We got deer, baby. We're gonna invite him in to listen to the album. Ooh. Many cities, dude. What I think is a real bummer is that there's no place that I can tan my perineum. I think we hate that neighbor. I don't know why they're honking yeah. at Toast to starting album nine. You guys, first of all, huge congrats on celebrating 15 years as a band, major. Has the journey been anything like what you thought it would be or anticipated from when you first started out? Who are you guys here to see? Me. What? Um, What's up? Do you think we'll sign before then? We like to get some funding. I'm just wondering, as of today, like, do you put the main in a genre? Do you care to put the main in a genre? The way that music's trending, I feel like there aren't. I don't know, there's so many artists that don't have genres. Like, they don't have boxes to check. We're always just reaching for what you, what is the greatest album you can make? And I think maybe we haven't done that yet. Hey, that's, that's doing something for me. Why don't you keep chasing that? And it, it, all it takes is that, that one voice to say, yeah, this is cool. And, and you know, you just keep going for it. decided to come up to uh, Jared's cabin up in Heber, um, get away from the city, get away from normal stuff, and I, I think that uh, when, we, uh, when we go and kind of seclude ourselves there, that's, that's where we do the best things. We get, we get the best work in the middle of the night. It's, it's possible it's, it's at, um, not the warehouse, but I don't, I just didn't, I didn't see much around here. Okay, cool. Well, I'll just uh, I'll just pack different. Sweet, see you soon. Oh, Alcohol. Oh yeah. Look at all this booze. Hey, Garrett, do you know how this comes out of here? Can you just pull it? There you go. Okay. Pool guy's in the backyard right now. Oh, the pool guy's there. Pool guy's here. Yeah. My dad takes care of the pool around here. You're on Facebook. Make it. <laughs> you're on Facebook. Smile, you're on Facebook. I don't know what made these. It makes me a little nervous. Like, what if there's some sort of like predator? That's that's a, from a hundred feet away. Those are big tracks. Yeah, I, it might be a squanch. It might be a sasquatch. Speaker one engaged. Hiding out in the truck. <laughs> this is uh where I'm gonna ride on the on the way. Kevin. Dude, shout out to Costco. Big shouts. I'm having enough things to make an album. Er, oh, I'm not making an album. Then. We're making an album, then making an album. We're starting to make an album. All right, have fun, boys. So nine albums in. Uh, I think the most exciting thing is trying to deconstruct what the main is and uh, reinvent ourselves. And I think the best way to do that is to act as if this is our first album, um, you know, and get rid of any preconceived ideas of what we have to be, what we're supposed to be. Um, I think that's the most important thing we could do for our band right now is to not be burdened with the weight of eight other albums. Um, 
because that puts you in a box of what you think is possible. Um, so I think our whole idea from the get-go of this was like break down all of that, deconstruct what the main is, and this is album one. There's like one town you can stop in on the way up to Heber, Arizona from Phoenix, and it's called Payson. And so the goal is to get all the food that you need for seven people for a week at this one grocery store. Two days, three days? Yeah. Fresh pots. Fresh pot. It's time to uh, get food for a week for seven people. I yeah. have my own method of doing those so. though. Okay. So it, let me do it. It's like a certain... Yeah, so I go with time. crescent rolls and then I make the filling and I make the icing. It takes me five extra minutes. Is it, is it better? It's dope. Because you make them, I have a mini muffin pin, uh, like tin or whatever you call it. All right. If uh, you've got a if you've got a method, now cut to Jared burning them, <laughs> make the whole cabin on fire. Many cities, dude. And I kind of like devise this whole plan where first we we're gonna go get all the stuff we needed for breakfast, then for lunch, then for dinner. Because if if not, we we're just gonna be like going through the aisles and grabbing different stuff and not. In, you know, knowing what we needed. We need that cheap ass tomato soup. This is what we want. Lemons. Those are cold up. Um, I'm you're a white cheddar popcorn guy. We're just cruising around and going, getting things we need and doing whatever we need to do. And and then we like finally realized like how weird that looks when, when you're buying that much food. It looks like we're doomsday prepping. Three. That's, I mean, that looks like enough for your seven people to talk about. Probably three of these. Where's the top one? Actually, like meat and shit? Yeah, that's true. I, I, I feel like as we were making records, we decided that these were the best. When we made our first record, we were in California, and we went to a Costco, and we had like one of their really big carts, so we had basically this amount of food in there, and we were like, got to the van, and we were like, fuck, do we unload it? And instead of unloading it, we just lifted up the cart and put it in the back of the van and went back to the place, and the cart stayed at the apartment for the, like, the entire time we were there. Ended up being two carts completely filled to the brim with, with, with groceries. We were taking bets on how much uh, it was gonna cost. I'm gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go six, $600. $432. $512. Like 22 bucks? Until you're slightly low. I'm a, I'm a pulp, like I, I like to eat my juice. There's a high pulp. No, and then we're doing Ooh, one. That's, we're doing one. that's infused. I'll so do that's, medium. That's, that's the kind of I like. I don't is know. multigrain, is that, is, that, is that wheat or no? No. It's wheat. Golden wheat. Nature's sure. Zone is a good, a good brand. I trust them. Sure. <laughs> I just, one register open. We just started apologizing as soon as we were walking up and the woman was like, <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, here we go. Oh. I am so fired. <laughs> I was way off. How long were we in there? Nine albums is a lot of albums. That's a lot of songs. And in a band like us, we've done kind of everything you can as a rock band. You know, we've done everything from a country, country songs, to fully electronic, no guitars. It's super easy looking back on albums after you're done and you see how people react to it. Um, and maybe you judge it in a different way. Where I think our goal on Nine is to do something that feels completely important for the time. We're always just reaching for what you, what is the greatest album you can make? And I think maybe we haven't done that yet. It's like, how do you make a perfect album? And I think that's what we keep trying to do. Like, what's a perfect main, main album? And that's pushing it, that's doing new stuff. And uh, yeah, I think just trying to do something great. Kobe! What's up, dude? Ow! Hey, buddy. Oh, Hi. Good. good to see you guys. Yeah. Oh. Hey, bud. Let's do the damn thing. Back to I Heber. Know, right? It's time for the face. Jared, is there another uh, shovel or like a broom? Right we ain't okay. never done this before. Is it sad that 
that shovel reminds me of Home Alone. <laughs> like, I feel like I should have other ways of knowing that shovel other than just that movie, but it is. You like coffee? Push the couches back. We, just we can just back. go. But we it's been it's been eight so years since we've worked with Colby in this fashion. Um, I got to go out to Nashville and do Box and Heart, but other than that, it's been a long time coming. Um, he's since gone off on his own and done phenomenal things in a different market and. But I think the, the most special part about working with Kolbs is he feels like an extension of our band. Uh, he was so integral in so many of our records that people really resonated with that uh, at this point, I couldn't, you know, when we were thinking about who could produce this record, sort of the stars just aligned. And it's always a, a, a strange thing working with somebody new and not having all of those personality quirks figured out and how am I gonna mesh and are they gonna even get my jokes? Um, and none of that exists with Colby just because we worked with him for so long and, and he really feels like part of this thing. I, I was like almost brought to tears multiple times just of like the joy that I feel. Like I love what he has done for our band so much and like he has such a impact on our band and just his presence in the room makes us better, uh, makes us want to be better, makes us want to write better songs. When you're working on 40 different songs, you can kind of lose the sight of what it is. So when he comes in, he has this new angle. It's like having a sixth member of the band that comes in and like can see through the bullshit and, uh, and actually tell us what's good. No camel bag in the truck. Do we really not bring it? I thought... Because I had... I had... Don't put it on me, man. I'm not... Uh, no, I'm just trying to remember. Where would it have been? Did you remember because I grabbed the extension no, I know we, cord and yeah. you came back in with it? And I handed it to you? You put it on me. Where would it have been in the studio? On the couch, maybe? Can you go in the big room, big control room and see if there's a camera bag in there? There is. So it's so funny. So Pat decided to put all of our cables, important cables like guitar cables, microphone cables, literally everything to make this work. He decided to put it in a camouflaged bag. And, you know, we're triple checking everything. And he, he literally said to me, he said, oh, it'd be so funny if we forgot this one. And the last thing I remember was, why are the lights off in the studio? I hope we grabbed everything. All of a sudden we get here, we forget all the fucking cables. Because, again, Pat put them in a camouflage bag. And uh, so the first thing we do is just, it goes in a little bit of a panic. And uh, Jared and, or John and Ken had to drive uh, about an hour and a half to the nearest guitar shop to grab guitar cables so that we could make music. <laughs> hey, I was just seeing how late y'all were open tonight. All right, thank you. Bye bye. Love you. Okay. We're at least gonna get things rocking. You know, it's that moment where Jim looks at the camera. I mean, that's what I was talking about maybe doing. Yeah. Recording cymbals and drums. Separate. Separate so that we can like get that. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, because there's only so much I can do yeah. with a live drum kit. And so if we're if we want to reference a song and we're like, man, we just like the way that sonically sounds, there's gonna be certain ways we have to go about to get those things. Yeah. Well, it's funny because <clears throat> we were looking into this a lot and a lot of the drum references ended up being the same exact way. They did symbols after. All the symbols are after. All three references we have 
That's what they did. Energy should be carried by tempo, by groove. Those are things that I think are going to play a way more important like role in this album because. And then what what needs to lift is the vocal. Yeah, it needs to lift lift everything up. And yes. the low, like if like he's saying, using the the low. Yeah. To bring because that feeling. That's what brings it modern. One song starts taking off, but then people go listen to the rest of the record, and it's like... I mean, that's definitely the biggest flaw of the last time. Yeah. Should I get that fire going? Um, yeah. Um, so one of the key moments of the pre-production process is picking out what songs are going to be on the album. Uh, so we kind of have this process where we go through all the demos, uh, we get a whiteboard and we write, these are the songs that yes, 100% we, th we think they're going to be on the album. These ones are no way. And then these ones are like, maybe. And then we kind of rank the maybe ones as like, these are high on my maybe list, medium or low. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's just kind of our process of like sifting through 30 or 40 songs and trying to whittle it down to the best material. I think that one's worth done, for sure. Yeah. It's a good blend of some of our dancier stuff and then like a don't come down, like this. With that breakbeat. Blame is yes, for sure. <laughs> Thank God! <laughs> I love the distorted thing. On the first verb or on the vocal, it's so dumb. That one to me, uh, I've never, I guess because I wrote it in a different headspace, I've just never had a special place. Yeah, my one big reservation would be I don't have a falsetto, and I would never be able to sing it live. Okay. And that's... What was that? Just fucking computer enhanced, dude. Oh. Consider it added. Think about your own time, for sure. The same chord? Yeah. Look at the same chord. Yeah. It has the potential of being great, it's just not there. Let's put it high on maybe. Cool. High on maybe. I'm high Dude, I'm so high on Navy, right? Minus the vocal. Right in saying it would be a bridge from what we just had, but I don't know if we need anything like that on the record. Which is I would why say I'm... I don't. I would say I would fight for that because there's nothing like that that right. bridges sort of that loved you a little, which also does feel kind of like Black Butterflies to me yeah. in a great way. Definitely needs, like like that one might just need a re, re total re yeah. It just re needs a lot of work, right. I mean, in but. the same way that we took Black Butterflies and right. we had the, the idea of going fast and slow, fast, slow yeah. but maybe that's not the thing, we just need to reference something else because we were referencing a Bieber song for, right. for Black Butterflies. It needs to be that, but I think maybe there's something we can, once we, get past going through these and we start thinking about that, I, I think having something else that's dancing and fun, dirty, pretty, beautiful, mm -hmm. like, great live song. Right. I agree 100%. Agree I kind of dig it. All the pizzas, this is. Yeah, these elements are terrible. Holy shit. John has been on a, uh, a cocktail trip uh, lately. Uh, I know nothing about making drinks. I pour whiskey and water, but John uh, John was has been on this whole thing. He's he brought an entire kit for this uh, for this trip. As someone who likes cocktails, I was skeptical. Not skeptical of John's abilities. I just wanted to see what he was talking about. And to be fair, he's like 
knows what he's doing. You gotta have lemons. Preferably should be clean. So you just run them underwater and you rub them with your dirty hands. Perfect. I actually already threw some in there, so you're gonna wanna have your lemons. H-A-V-E. You're gonna want, what did I already do? I already did bourbon. Three quarter ounce simple syrup, equal parts water and sugar. There's one already in there, there's one made. Two dashes, Angostura bitters. Boom. Two to three dashes, orange bitters. One, two, three quarter ounce. Lemon juice, squeeze of a lemon. Three drop counts. Quarter ounce, boom, and two ounces bourbon ice. Throw the top on. Go Tom Cruise with it. Shaking because of citrus. I don't know what that means. I can't really do that part. There we go. Yeah. A little flare. Get your cold glass, cubes. Boom. You wanna get fancy, a little lemon zest? Boom, cheers. Can't begin a record without a little toast. So we've been icing down some champagne in the uh, in the snow. And it's ice cold toast to starting album nine. I was supposed to smash this over the TV, right? It's like made yeah. voyage. Yeah. We're popping. This could be, we brought this up here, so this actually could be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi boys. Speech, Pat. Speech. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll actually do, do something there, it's pressure. Uh, <laughs> I th off to a great start. Fuck <laughs> you guys. <laughs> no, uh, Colby, with you. I, uh, there's no more important person for our, our band and making our albums than, than you, and seven years has been a long time to not make an album together. Eight years. Eight years. Um, and, uh, I think uh, that we're gonna make our best album and just so pumped to have you on board and so pumped for all of us to make our ninth album. Oh, album. debut album. Let's do it. Our our debut! debut. To, to, in, into the boys. <laughs> you guys are some bad boys. <laughs> uh, and wait, real quick. Uh, <laughs> uh, triple threat trio, right? Triple threat trio, yes. Okay, wait. Uh, really doing it. Oh, yeah! yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The mystery tracks? Signed I think it's rap. I don't know. What's going on here? Oh, oh. They're right there. Oh, wow. And then he's leaping off. <laughs> his butt bunny. <laughs> that's his bunny butt, and then it just jumps oh, off. Oh, that's just his butt bunny. Oh, my. It's very so cold. cold. <laughs> to recreate here, dude. It feels overwhelming a little bit. Remember how I said it wasn't uh, hot to touch? Yeah. Ah! Bro, that flame is getting bigger and yeah. bigger. Oh, close to that. It's all G. Everything arping is on G. I don't know if it's just because the way, maybe you only have so much brain power for a day. You kind of hit, hit a fucking wall and you know, we started working on one that I thought was gonna be one of the easy ones. That can kind of fuck up your thought process a little bit. And you know, last night we kind of left it at a, a little bit of a bummer. The rhythm doesn't work. It's like, how would you play it if the drums are just? Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm not convinced that the. Double time thing needs to happen. Yeah. There but there's go. plenty of songs that I do that, and but then that the bridge comes, and I'm like, oh yeah, there's this fucking awesome part, and then. But back I guess the that's what I'm saying. It's like it's 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 easy to imagine, yeah, and then like, it's really hard to create. Maybe right? the bridge like, is just because if we like those other parts so much, maybe the bridge is just a slight departure of those two things. It's reminiscent. Yeah, when when we started to do that, and you threw us something over it, I was like. Oh, that's it. Like, you just you, I mean, you were just hodgepodge stuff, but I was like, yeah, that's it. It doesn't feel throwaway. It feels like the next part of the thing. Bit of a daunting challenge, but, you know, like I said, nine records in, I would, this to me is now exciting. It's kind of cool to look up and be like, okay, what can we, what can we do with these, these extra songs that we have? We have to have at least four, hopefully four more. Um, but all we need is that one thing. We need that one song 
first one that we can move over to that other column, I think we're gonna start to kind of catch some wind there. Cool. I'm, There's a way to put a bow on it so that you still- exactly. That's all I want, want is a I bow at the end because I, I love it so much and I just don't think ending it, I think it, whether it's a, it, it, it cuts its head off too early. That, that's yeah. totally. That's fine. it. That's all I feel. Whatever I, it is, I'm, I'm, I'm in down. That boat. I'm in that boat. Like I feel like there's just it's we're missing one piece of the song. You need to talk about it more and like wrap our heads, with, or at least I did maybe. And it, thinking I think of it in the way that you're saying, be, like I think that's a. I think, I think it's that's gonna be, yeah, be really cool. And I think just thinking of the other one we did today, and then that it's like. Those are two like things that feel so cutting edge for us, but you like feel like oh, like, people are gonna really like this, you know. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't feel run of the mill. It doesn't feel retracing things we've done. It mm -hmm. feels that's for sure. Doesn't feel like things you've heard other people doing. Yeah. It like so. I think that's now that's the bar, you know. We've been on a roll um, to start and we're blasting through songs and feeling really good and you know i think up to five uh songs that we feel like are great and gonna be on the album kind of hit a little bit of a wall on a couple in a row where you know we'd spent four hours on one and didn't get anywhere spent five hours on, on the other and didn't get anywhere and you know the end of the night you know it's really feeling like uh we have a big mountain to climb to finish an album you know Five songs is an EP, uh, so and that is not the intention. So, uh, yeah, now it's just the hope that we can get five, six more that are up to that bar.